My name is Steve Smith. This is the QA Weekly. And if ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions for stories or topics, email me at ask at theqaweekly.com already. Come on. This week's topic is about the Z170 platform versus the X99 3 platform. For those who already knew this or didn't already knew this, my most popular episode currently is the Intel's H97, Z97, and X99 platform. So that pinned two DDR3 against one DDR4 platform. The H97 and Z97 platforms are consumer, just like the Z170 platform, with one big flaw. They only had 16 PCI Express lines, which means that in that kind of configuration scenario, if you wanted to add anything besides two-way SLI or quad or even crossfire if you were into AMD, this means you had to sacrifice your dreams and hopes of being able to do anything or flip a lot more money for the X99-3 platform. Well, with Intel's sixth generation Skylake, you don't have to anymore. You get the benefit of having 20 PCI Express lanes, not just 16, and you also get the benefit of being able to rock DDR4 RAM, not DDR3 RAM. So let's start rolling, people, because this one's going to be interesting for some of you. So under the brand new Z170 platform rocking the Intel 6th generation Skylake processor, you have the option of the i5-6600K, which is roughly the same price as the i5-4690K. That's the fourth gen refresh and the i7-6700K is roughly the same price as the i7-4790K so that would be also the fourth gen refresh so if we're talking dollars to dollars it's roughly the same price so if you were going to think about going to the Z97 platform you might want to just hop over to the Z170 platform if you're still not convinced the motherboards are pretty much the same cost with the benefit of having USB 3.1 type A and type C as well. So that reversible connection, not to mention people that if you wanted to be absolutely sure of how you would negotiate this with either your husband or your wife, DDR4 RAM in the lower speeds is already about the same cost as DDR3. So while people would be wondering why there's no specials on RAM, there are. They're called faster speeds for the same amount of dollars. So that's how you negotiate people. Now, if you're trying to figure out how much RAM you need, keep in mind, you see a big difference from four to eight. Please don't buy four. Most games will require eight gigs of RAM minimum. You'll see a definite increase in performance from eight to 16, but you won't see that much of a reason going from 16 to 32 unless you're doing things such as high-end editing like some of us actually like to do. So unless your tasks are a lot more demanding on RAM, you don't really need to go above 16 gigs of RAM. So that puts you at about $200. You can rock an i7 for about $400 and you can still buy a main board for about $200. So that's an $800 upgrade. Or you can go full 32 and that'd be roughly about $1,000. It allows you for those two graphics cards to be connected simultaneously, allowing you to connect up to four different other devices on the board or even just rock an NVMe drive. Good luck negotiating that one with your budget. And of course, if you absolutely needed to go more than two-way SLI, well, here's the thing. You can go into the X99-3 platform, which is also going to be the same rules for the RAM, basically the same price. And you also have the option of going between the i7-5820K, which has 28 lanes, so that's three-way SLI possible with four additional lanes that you can do whatever the heck you want with, as well as having the 40-lane i7-5930K or the i7-5960X processors, both supporting 40 PCI Express lanes, and lest we forget, that means the first card is connecting at 16X. However, the 5960X processor is more expensive than the Z170 configuration I told you before. So unless you're absolutely going to go and connect three or more graphics cards onto your computer, you may want to stay in the Z170 platform because while it's still consumer, it still allows you to do a lot of stuff that enthusiast wants to do. So that means you've got a lot of deciding to do. Do you want to rock a fifth generation? i7 processor under the x99 platform just because you want to connect three or more graphics cards or do you really truly only want to have two-way SLI spend more money on those graphics cards because that is the piece that should be the most expensive in your computer anyway and actually have a lot better experience for a lot less 
than you would have spent going on the X99-3 platform. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below on YouTube, email me at ask.tqaweekly.com, and of course, you can always send me your PC part picker lists so that I can help you out, but I will only <clears throat> provide suggestions. I'm not gonna be hand-holding anybody through this. By the way, if you want me to continue doing these kinds of episodes, you can always subscribe to my show. You can go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly, fit me a dollar or more at your own will. I do about four to five episodes per month, so just make sure it fits in your budget. And of course, make sure you like, dislike, leave your comments and questions down below, or if, like I said, email me at ask.tqaweekly.com. Have a great day. Goodbye. Thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing. Have a great day.